Hello Troop 516, this is Mr. Duncan, fourth best knot tire in the troop. Today I want to demonstrate what's known as the shear lashing. Now, as with all my lashing videos, I want to dedicate this uh, video to my friend Dan Hart, uh, assistant scout master with Troop 316, absolute best lashing expert that I've ever known. Tragically, he died in uh, January of this year, 2020, and we miss him a great deal. This, de this video, like the other ones, is dedicated to him. So I've been studying my uh, son Gabriel's uh, scout manual. He has the 2012 version, I believe. The, uh, the current version is published in 2016. And in Gabriel's manual, uh, it shows the shear lashing tied between two parallel sticks, and it shows another lashing known as the tripod lashing that's tied with three parallel sticks. And they are essentially the same lashing, except there's a different number of sticks. I'm going to demonstrate the shear lashing or tripod lashing using three sticks. It's again, it's the same method. It looks exactly the same. It's just two sticks versus three sticks. And I think that the uh, tripod lashing or the shear lashing with three sticks yields a more useful product in the end. So let's get started. The shear lashing will begin and end with a clove hitch. Tie a clove hitch by dropping my rope over my stick, coming around the back, around my thumb, over the stick again, and back up through the loop. There's the clove hitch. Do you see the X? Let's tie it real tight. And then we'll scooch it down just a little bit. Okay. Now we'll bring in our other sticks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave in and out. Weave my sticks, or weave my rope in and out of my sticks. Keeping it snug. Keeping it neat. Keeping it tight at every turn. We'll go three or four times around. And now, that's probably good enough. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some frappings. These first three times in and out of the sticks are called the wrappings. The next thing we're gonna do is called frapping. And we're just going to go between the sticks like this. Pulling it tight at every opportunity. Okay. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go across the back and I'm gonna start frapping the other two sticks. See how that's going? Okay, you see how that looks now? I've got a clove hitch here. Then I wove it in and out, in and out, in and out three times. You can go four times if you'd like. And then I frapped three times here, frapped three times there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the lashing right here with a clove hitch. Come around, as before, I drop it over and run it up through this hole. Pull it real tight, and then I do it again. I drop it over, and run it up through that hole one more time. And then I snug it down as tight as I can get it. 
And there's the clove hitch. You see the X? Scooch it all down real tight. Now, I don't want to cut my rope because I'd like to be able to use it for other projects. But ordinarily what I would do is I'd clip it right there and fuse it. And I might take this tail and clip it off and fuse it as well. Make it nice and neat. But I'm going to leave this on here now because I'd like to be able to use my rope a little bit later on. But what I can do now, I've got three sticks tied together. And I can make a tripod. You see that? Who knows what you might want to make a tripod for. If it was big enough, you might be able to wrap a tarp around that and make a TP tent. Who knows? Or you might take uh, three sticks like this and make yourself a tripod and put it over a fire. Maybe your campfire could be down here and you could hang a pot, uh, maybe a Dutch oven or something, and do some cooking, holding it over top of the fire. Of course, you'd have to have some much taller sticks but you kind of get the idea. Anyway, so that is the shear lashing or the tripod lashing. It's exactly the same type of lashing. I used it with three sticks instead of two sticks. Um, easy to tie, begins with a clove hitch, ends with a clove hitch. Some wrappings that interweave between the sticks. You frap between each of the parallel sticks in, in um, a sequence and who knows what you might use it for when you're done. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, you give it a try. Do some practicing. Let me know if you have any trouble. That's all. Bye-bye.